Okay, who's next? All right. Have you had a number four? No, this is my first time. Is oh. it going to show up? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Okay, pop I'm your nervous about that. More nerdy henna information, guys. <laughs> All right, so henna is a transparent stain. So it uses your skin tone as its base. Really? So the browner your skin, the, the redder dark. the stain. The pinker your skin, the browner the stain. So you're going to get a very burgundy color where I get a very red brown. Right? So it shows up on everybody, just shows up differently. Okay. Right? Okay, what's your inspiration? Where is it? This one. Ah, all right. Okay, and let's see. I'm gonna get this going. So let's get you nice and kind of straight. I want your elbow to be straight with this. Okay, perfect. And so, is this your first time? Yeah. Oh, well, welcome to Henna. <laughs> Here we are. I've always been discouraged to do henna because I always thought I wanted to Worried do about that, yeah. And especially if you're paying for it, you're like, well, I don't want to pay for it and not show yeah. up. So now you've got a good time. You can, like, try it out and be like, oh, my gosh, it so works. We're going to look so good. I know. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, so even you can see that, even wet, it looks different on your skin, and that's just because of the contrast. The paste is still the same. It's just about the contrast, right? And you will love that burgundy. Dark skin with henna is actually my favorite combination because it's such a really unique, rich color. Yeah. So much better. Ah. So, and I hope that this will now mean that when you're out and about, you'll be like, oh, I'm getting henna. Yeah. You know, because now you'll be confident. Yeah. Um, though, when you are out and about, you always want to look for henna that has aftercare instructions that look very similar to mine. The ingredient should be somewhere nearby. And it should always, always, always be things you recognize. And ideally, your henna artist should be mixing their own henna. Right. What happens if it's like, what's wrong with the already mixed one? So, um... Most of those are not natural. Um, they're all marketed they, as safe and natural, do, do they but they're not. Your skin? They can, but the bigger problem with them is less about the skin irritation, and it's more the fact that they are generally mixed with benzene or PPD or kerosene or gasoline. Within those things, there are chemicals called forever chemicals. So those chemicals, your uh, liver can't process. So they're with you forever. So you can be, yeah, you could be just fine. You could get henna done and everything's fine. And then like five years from now, you could go to dye your hair or something and end up in the hospital because the buildup has just gotten to be too much. So oftentimes if you hear somebody who is allergic to hair dye, it's often in conjunction with a black henna that they've done in the past. Henna's never black. It's always that red-brown color or adulterated brown henna that they've had done. So you always, always want to protect yourself. Your nails are so flipping cute. Thank you.